Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my another video of Next Chess Advanced Course playlist. And in this video, we are going to talk about uh, Next Chess with Observables. So we have already discussed uh, a lot about Next Chess, and we were writing uh, APIs with the different ORMs and MongoDB, SQLize. I mean Mongoose, SQLize, Type ORM, Prisma, Next, and all. Now it's like uh, we are talking about totally different topic which is the topic is how to deal with the observables like everybody knows like uh, how the observable works if you are an angular developer then you might have already seen what is observable right observable is like a stream of data uh, which is coming over the time and you have to subscribe to that stream to fetch the data from it so nestjs also heavily uses observables for different type of uh, at different places if you are familiar with observables from the angular developer perspective then it might be very helpful to work with observables in the nest CS. even if you're not an angular developer that's fine you can just uh, play around with observable observable is really nice concept of reactive functional programming and uh, you should adopt it if uh, that's needed so till now we were doing returning a, a promise from our controllers like promise any but now you can also return like nest.js also handles returning of an observable stream from your controller so here we are returning observable off is like observable operator which creates the stream observable stream from the data and there are other options also like http module when you use http module with the nest.js it also returns the observable like uh, i wanted to fetch uh, the github user data from the github apis I wanted to fetch the weather information from external API and if you wanted to use this HTTP service which is available in the nest JS like HTTP service dot get some URL this HTTP service is part of the HTTP module then this is not a simple promise this is not a, a sync await stuff this is returning an observable an observable stream and to fetch the data what you do is you just subscribe that observables and uh, fetch that or you can also uh, play with the stream using just pipeable operators you do dot pipe and just write these operators so first of all i mean uh, prerequisite for this video i uh, think is you might be already familiar with the basic observables and operators or if you are totally new then i would suggest you to just first look at what is what are observables how they are different from the promises so whatever you are doing with async await, let's say you are making an API call in the nest JS, you are just using async await and returning the promises and resolving it and all those things. What if you replace these promises with the observable? Observable is also a stream of data. And here we are talking about making an API call. It's like a one-time data coming over the stream, but still it's a stream of data coming as an observable. So you need to uh, subscribe it to fetch the data. But in the nest.js controllers you can return an observable and nest.js automatically handles resolving that stream i mean and getting the last re returned value from the stream and return you from return to the client like if you are hitting a http rest api and you are returning a observable from the nest.js controller that is perfectly fine you can do it nest.js is handling it so here you can see we are using http service and we are making it so how to configure HTTP module? We can just uh, uh, configure HTTP module with the timeouts and all. So here, what, what is our main goal here is to use this HTTP module to make an external API call, let's say the GitHub module, GitHub APIs to fetch the profile based on the username. That's what we are going to do in the demo, making the API call to the GitHub uh, APIs and fetch the user profile information. And uh, this API call will happen through this HTTP service, uh, which is returning as the observable. If you want to get the Axios instance and wanted to do it in the promise way, then you can do it HTTP service dot Axios reference dot get. It will give you the promise if you want. Otherwise, by default, HTTP service dot get put post delete patch all are returning the observable for you. And observables you can return from the controller. And if you wanted to play around with the observable data, then you can just use these Rx operators. So here what it is doing is, if you look into this code, HTTP service.get, 
this is returning an observable and to play with the observable you can just add a pipeable operators like dot pipe here i'm just receiving the stream and if uh, there are multiple things you can do with the in the dot pipe you can catch the error coming from the stream or you can catch the data i mean you can just uh, extract the data coming from the stream using dot pipe dot map dot filter dot tab operators or let's say if there is a error while making this api call in that case it will go to the catch error like some error happened you can throw the exception from here so this is how a simple service will work which is returning an observable right so it depends like what you are returning here we are returning uh, the first value from so that is actually a promise but you can also return an observable which can be resolved by nest.js yes, because the same data will be returned by the controller okay so this is the all the things we are going to play around in this video to understand the rx operators and then how to work with observables in the nest.js yes. there are many different ways uh, you can adopt uh, using observables like making a call to the external service or uh, you can return the observables uh, i mean there are many more options like uh, because observables are everywhere the controllers uh, in authentication cards and all so mainly what we do is we use observables uh, through some external services like http module this is returning as the observable and then if it is an observable then you have either use you need to do dot pipe and deal with the observable stream otherwise you have you can return that from the controller so this is a little bit documentation like uh, what is observable what are the operators and uh, how to use those operators so if you talk about simple observables uh, there is rxjs is a reactive functional programming uh, library and observables is part of it so how we are creating observables using rxjs library this is the observable we have created and we can just uh, subscribe to that observable to get the data from it so this is actually creating a stream of data you can see uh, subscriber dot next one two three four so it is generating a stream and you are subscribing to that stream to fetch the data from it and these are all the operators which we can use to play with the stream like map filter uh of from so all these methods like uh, interval interval is giving us the stream uh, we are importing it from the rxjs so it's giving us a observable so we can just do a dot pipe on that and uh, similarly there is a map filter tab switch map merge map or we join there are a lot many methods out there that's uh, doing the same thing so this is used to create observable from the raw data so let's say there is an array array of uh, strings array of numbers I wanted to convert that into uh, a stream of data. So I can just use from and off. So from will give you the stream of data which you can subscribe and fetch the data. So this is what we are doing. We are creating a observable and then we are subscribing it and getting the data. So there are many examples of these different operators. Here we will try to create a simple example uh, which is uh, returning as an observable from an HTTP call. So here also we are doing the same thing. We have the source of, of is going to return as the observable. Of, from, from event, all these methods are actually returning you the, of, from, or all, all are returning the observable for us. Now what I'm going to do is to just play around with these observables and all, I wanted to just make an API call to the GitHub APIs, like give me the user profile. So what I will do is I will create a controllers and modules and a services. So my service, the GitHub service is going to access the GitHub client. GitHub client is nothing but you are just writing some Exios call using this HTTP library to fetch the data. Right, so fetch the, the data about a single user name, single GitHub user name or pass the, the user names comma separated so it can return the data in form of an array. So here we will just write a controllers and a services, controller and service. And then we also need a GitHub client. And we can just create a simple interface to maintain the typings for the GitHub. 
okay so now uh, we can write the controller so this is github controller github service so github controller is all about uh, making a simple routes which can fetch the data from the github apis so for that we are going to create a github client so there is a controller is going to call the github service and then github service is going to use the github client service so these are these are like a three different the three different layer of interactions we are going to build this is a simple controller which is uh, going to use a github service to uh, make api call like once you hit the api this controller is going to access the methods exposed by github service so we are injecting the github service inside a constructor and then we have two different endpoints both will be uh, get only get users get user by path and get users by query parameter so you can actually fetch the github profile of a single user or you can pass the comma separated uh, users in the query parameter so here this is the path parameter users user that means you wanted to get uh, the github profile information of a particular github username that's what it will do and uh, another api is a users user that means you wanted to fetch the the list data about the list of users where the users are passed as a query parameter and which are comma separated so that's my second so here we are just considering user as a parameter which is of type string and then we can call the github client service i mean github service dot uh, there is some method which we can define and this is a controller right and each and every methods like in a sync await returns a promise here they will be returning a observable and next cs will take care of resolving this and returning the the, the last value sent from this particular resolver so observable so what we are doing is this observable is of type or github user github user is nothing but a custom type we have created because this is the data we are going to receive from the github apis so here i will just import the rxcs and rxcs operators so here we are getting the observables observable of type github user uh, you need to return something otherwise it will keep complaining and here also we are returning a github user of array because we i want to fetch the the data about the list of users i mean data about the users which are comma separated in the query parameter so we can split them based on the comma get all the user users as an array and then we can run a map to fetch the data iteratively so that is the thing we can do and here it is going to call the github service so github service dot get user and we need to pass the username so username we are passing as a path parameter here and here in a second we are going to pass the users as a query parameter so uh, i mean this is how we pass the query parameter users equal to in the in the url itself we will have add a path parameter sorry query parameter uh, which is where we are going where we are going to pass comma separated different strings which represents uh, github uh, usernames okay so what we are going to do is simply we are going to go to the github service and write these methods get user and get users get users is get the data of multiple users get user is just uh, by uh, get up at the data of a user whose uh, username is this so we are passing the username in the path uh, query parameter there we can just check okay i just need a username for this particular email id okay so here we are doing uh, creating a service this is a github service github service is nothing but uh, here it will have these two methods that is going to call the github client service github client service is nothing but a simple method where you are going to make a api call using this xeos client i mean this http client which returns really returns observable so http client dot get this will give you i mean dot get put post and we need to uh, so that is an observable so let's see that in the code and try to understand so this is our github service right github service has a get get user or get users 
these are the two different methods and in both the methods we are passing only single string username in the second it is a comma separated string in the first we are getting the only single user information so both will be returning observable of github user that's already we, we know now what we will do is we have to maybe we can create this github client service inside our same domain folder and then in on that github client we can just call a single method get data get uh, github user information this dot github client dot get user or whatever the method name so first we need to uh, create this uh, github client this is github client will actually make an api call to the github uh, public apis to fetch the profile information or based on the github username so what we are doing is we have both these methods get user and this get user we need to actually run a loop because these are comma separated it's not a single string it's a maybe a single string but comma separated and every comma is representing a username okay so this is what we will do is inside a github we can create a github client dot ts and a github client is actually uh so github client is nothing but a simple method inside that es6 class to make api call and we will just somewhat use this uh, we will somewhat use over here uh, github client dot get user and we are injecting this http client service so we need to see uh, we need to see how we can get this http service so earlier we used to get it from the next JS common but i think uh, there are some changes we cannot just get http service directly we need to add this http module uh, i mean which is nothing but an axios so in the next JS axios is providing us this http module and http service all those things are coming from there so here we can see if i try to import it from next JS common which is not possible because it's not there so what we are doing is we are just creating this http service and then we are calling this dot http service dot get user but before that we need to resolve this http service uh like uh, from where to import and what this particular method is going to return so for that we will just use this dot http service dot get so this get method in the in this implementation should return the observable okay so what we are doing here is we are just calling this http service dot get github user and inside get you are just passing the username right so this is not done what we need to do we need to fix this error first so what we need to import pnpm add nest js axios and axios because these two modules will help us to uh, get the http service and all the different uh, things which we need for making the http call so here if i go to the same project again and i can just do npm run start to see if the build is happening and this is how you need to register at uh, the root module so inside a github module i can just specify that i'm using this http module and i mean std module is right now empty but it's like simple you just have one controller two services and just export that module so you, we just need to worry about writing a simple es6 class and just import the http module rest it has a github controller github service and github client inside the providers so we are good here so this is our github module okay now from the github module uh we can just try to what we are doing here is we are getting the HTTP module from the nest CS axios and this is how our main module looks like okay so what this client will do this client is going to make api equal to the github open apis public apis okay give me the profile information about this particular github uh, username or this particular github username so we just have only single method get user by username username is a string and we are doing await this dot http service dot get that is going to return us an observable and what we will do is we will add a pipe dot pipe and run the different operators 
so if you just look into this we are we are doing is we are just uh, returning from this method get user is observable of xuse response so here uh, get user is simple method but uh, here we are using observable so this method should return as an observable so return this dot http service dot get github user dot pipe and here with the pipe pipe what is what are these pipe pipe is a pipeable operators once you receive the stream we can play around with the stream in different possible ways so that we can add here like uh, we can do dot map filter tap uh, all the different uh, rx operators we can specify here so that is the beauty of rx that it has rx operators that can be useful to debug the the content of the stream and uh, yeah so here what we are doing is here we are simply doing dot pipe get github user and then we have these different operators map filter reduce map filter tap merge map and many more so what we are doing here is uh, we can just simply dot do a catch error so inside this callback http service dot get we have this dot pipe inside dot pipe we have a map tab filter and catch error so catch error if it is not able to make the call then we will do catch error so all these are cascade effects like okay maybe one of them is not matching our criteria so here uh, what we are doing is from the get user method of http client service we have injected http service from nest jsxios and what we are doing is this dot uh, http so here this is how we are getting the data and this is the, the data we are returning from the client uh, we can just simply simply say is internal server error exception because uh, i see there is an import issue in current uh, vs code earlier uh, it used to populate auto populate everything whatever we are writing so here we are just importing this as http client service and this is internal server error exception that is actually an exception which is custom made and here we can return the exceptions okay now what we will do is we will focus uh, more on how it really works like the github apis where you can just pass the username and get the, the user data or pass the multiple uh, users in the query parameter so here is our uh, github client service ready so what we will do is this github client service now can be passed to the github service and in the github client service obviously we are making api call to the github apis public apis and we are just passing the username and here we are we can just inject this github client service into github service and that is returning an observable that's that's true so here we need to make sure that we are handling that appropriately so return this dot github client dot get user and uh, dot pipe because we need to uh, capture that observable response so here we can just add a pipeable oper operators so here we can just make the we can use the map uh, we can just uh, map the the response using map operator so this is rxas operator map to extract the data from the stream response.data so all these rx operators only used to change the data of the stream so let's say some data is coming in the observable stream map will change the, the payload properties filter will decide okay which elements which particular nodes from the stream needs to pick tab will only pick only the first uh, element from that uh, stream so these are all rx operators which we are playing around and first of all in the get users we are getting the query parameter comma separated first we will split it now we got an array of uh, the user names so we can just simply do a dot map user and for each and every user uh, you can just uh, make the call return github client dot get user user dot trim so it will you will return that data so this is the get user by path param so here you are passing the username as a path parameter and this get user 
is actually where you are passing the users which is a comma separated strings you are passing and here get users is defined where we are just running a loop and then finally because this is all different observables so we can just do the fork join so that we can get the data of both the observable stream together so fork join means both are observables and we need to resolve both so we can just do fork join so because it's an observable array so here we can just do the github module and add that github module here and just start the application and see if we are getting any error otherwise test the application so here we i can i when i started this application i see no any issue it's just like the port we need to check if it is available or not so i have started the application and i was just playing around with this all these different apis and all so here uh, we have started the application so we can just see github module right so we can just either check the the docs documentations which is available and then we can start hitting this api uh, github user and this is the doc documentation swagger docs and i can see both the apis uh, give me the github users based on the search string or give me the github based on the uh, id I mean based on the user sorry so here you can pass a single user on the path parameter in the query parameter you can pass a multiple users and here i can see i can fetch the data uh, either through the path parameter or the query parameters okay so here you can see i can see that it is fetching the data from the github apis and this is like when you are isolating or separating the uh, github user names then it will become an array because you have a two different uh, users and we are using all these operators like okay so this is overall picture i mean if you try to see or try to do a simple examples how to work with uh, rxjs and the nestjs it is somewhat simple for the angular developers because that is their day-to-day -day task dealing with observables and all otherwise just uh, just see how we can uh, inject observables inside a service and then you just call that service method and return the data to the controller so this is so this is all about the flow we have a controller then we have a service and then we have a github client service and github client service is returning observables and inside a github service we are extracting data and returning the observable of payload and that we are returning to the controller so controller is able to resolve the response from the observable same as the promise and returning that data to the client and we have also already seen the demo how it really works end to end so let's uh, that's that's enough for this particular video that's what i wanted to cover in the next video we will talk about testing the nestjs controller services middlewares card and everything